This video demonstration will introduce you to the key features of Learning On. Learning On is a web-based learning resource management system supporting IMS Common Cartridge version 1.1 and SCORM 2004. Through its content interoperability features, and also compliant with IMS Basic LTI version 1.0 for its ability to integrate with external tools. Okay, let's begin our demonstration by first logging on to Learning On. With Learning On, the user can not only create brand new learning resource from scratch, but also import existing one to modify or reuse the elements inside the imported resource. Learning On consists of five main menus or features, which are Creation and Import, Management, Publishing, Report, and Configuration, with each menu having its own specific functions or items. In this video demonstration, I will demonstrate on how to import a content package, create a learning resource using the package imported, generate a coursework with a variety of learning resources or activities, and finally publish it to the mobile devices of choice. Go through the package import process first. The package to import is an IMS GLC provided test cartridge in Common Cartridge 1.1 format. Select a cartridge and press Upload button. Once the upload is complete and the validation on the uploaded cartridge shows no errors, it is then required for the user to enter information on the cartridge. As a final or additional step of the cartridge import process, the user, if necessary, is able to select the learning resources to be registered into the repository from those already included in the cartridge. It also allows the user to preview each of the learning resources registered before its actual usage. Let's move on to creating a learning resource. Learning On provides a support for creating and managing various types of learning resource specified in IMS Common Cartridge. The resource type can be web content, XML describing a discussion topic, XML based quiz or test, XML describing a link to the externally hosted tool or content. In Learning On, we simply call this Learning Tool, or XML describing a simple HTTP link. Learning On also allows its user to utilize a variety of social networking services, including Twitter and Facebook, in creating web-based learning resources. Let's try creating two different forms of learning material. The first one is a type of learning tool, a descriptor pointing to the external tool, and I will try creating the second learning material utilizing a number of different social networking services. The external tool for our learning tool is a website hosted by Khan Academy. So I will just give a same name, Khan Academy and the key and secret credentials, and most importantly, the launch URL info. The next step is to select the browsers that the learning tool, in this case Khan Academy, supports. Press Save and Preview to make sure the learning tool is running as intended. Let's now create a learning resource using a number of popular social networking services. 
Learning on features four different methods or ways of utilizing social networking services, with each method utilizing a specific type of media in creating a web content page. At first, with the Learning On's user-friendly interfaces, the users can easily utilize the search results returned from YouTube videos, Flickr, SlideShare, and Google Images as a learning resource in a form of web content. Learning On also enables its users to search the social feeds from Twitter and Facebook and turn them into their own learning resource. Learning On's Twitter People Search functionality is also quite useful when there is a need to find an expert on a particular topic. These are the four smart ways how Learning On tries to bring people and their idea together with its social networking related features. An ancient Greek historian, Herodotus, is a search keyword that I will use in this demo to get the search result feeds from Twitter and Facebook, and also I will demonstrate on how to preview the returned social feeds and finally save them as a learning resource. Now, I will add the previously saved learning resource to the pre-registered existing Herodotus coursework. Once opening the Herodotus coursework, a list of the resources already populated inside the coursework appears at right. Pressing the Edit button will guide the user to the page where to add a new resource. On the left side of the Course Worker page is a list of the resources populated inside the coursework. And on the right side, it shows a pool of all the learning resources stored inside the Learning On repository. Prior to attempting to add the learning resources to the existing coursework, the coursework needs to be modified in its table structure with new content entries in order to allow for the resources to be added. After creating new entries inside the coursework's table structure, the user needs to find the learning resource from the resource pool and then simply drag and drop the learning resource to the newly created entry. The Preview button enables the user to preview how the new resources will appear inside the coursework after being added. Before moving on publishing the coursework, let's check each learning resource one by one to make sure everything is okay by navigating through the table of contents. The Learning On's content publishing feature allows its user to publish the registered coursework not only to PC, but to Android and iOS-based mobile devices as well. In this demo, I will try publishing the newly modified Herodotus coursework just in a content format to be played on iPhone. As shown on the iPhone emulator, the coursework is successfully added to the course list, enabling the user to access the learning resources in an equally identical environment as in PC browser. OK, let's see if every resource is playing as intended.
Everything seems to be working well. That's the end of our demonstration. Thank you for watching.